It almost feels dangerous to be putting on my face at this point. This seemed like such a good idea when I was in the store and I seen it and I was like, oh my god, that would be funny. Let's do this video. And now I'm like, I'm pretty sure I'm putting glue on my eyelashes. Good morning, everybody. So today's video is going to be a little bit of a different one. This is one where um, I actually went to the 100 yen store, which is kind of like, um, if you're in the States, it's kind of like a Dollar Tree. Uh, same thing, it's like a dollar store. And I bought a bunch of Japanese makeup. So, without further ado, if you are interested to see exactly how this works, and if it even works for me, then please keep watching. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe button. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake, cause I don't fucking care. There's a couple things I couldn't get. I could not find any eyeshadows or anything like that. Actually, I did, but they were like quads, and they weren't something that I could actually pull off a look with. So, I'm not going to do any eye makeup. It'll just be eyeliner. It won't be anything special. So, I'm just going to go over everything that I got. I actually also got brush cleaner, as you can see. So... Obviously, I can't figure out if this works in this video or not, but we'll find out if it works later, and then I can maybe give an update. The next thing I got is actually this little beauty sponge. Um, it's called a foundation puff right here, if you can see that. Um, I'm a little worried about this because it looks, it looks weird. Like, if you can see, it looks wholly, like, kind of fluffy. I'm not sure. Yeah, it doesn't even say, like, whether to use it wet or not. And there is English instructions in the back. It has both. So don't think that I'm like, oh, she reads Japanese. No, <laughs> don't. It's back here. It does say, um, it does tell you how to clean, how to store. But it does not say whether or not it's supposed to be used wet. So I'm going to assume you do use it wet. We'll find out. We'll see how it works dry, and if it looks kind of crazy, we'll try it wet. How about that? It's hard, so I think you have to wet it. Like, it is, it is stiff. Um, I'm going to wet this because this does not seem, yeah, there's no way. I'm wetting this. Okay, so as you can see, I'm opening all of this on camera. So, I don't want you guys to think that, like, I already knew it was good or bad or whatever. Um, I have no idea. I haven't used any of this. So, I'm just going to grab as what I have. Alright, so I have this nifty little clip here. And this is an eyelash clip. And I also have eyelashes. I do not think, though, that I got any glue. Yeah, but I do have these eyelashes right here. I actually thought these were pretty cute. So, if they work nice... These might be a win. And then I also have this eyelash clip. And as you can see, you are supposed to hold the eyelash and it just goes on. So we'll see how these work. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. So as you can see, it's just this little clip holds onto the lash. That is huge compared to my eye. How big are people's eyes that use this? It's not even curved. Like, oh, these are plastic. <laughs> Oh, they're already sticky. Huh, maybe you don't need glue. Oh, it does say to apply glue, so you do need glue, but they are sticky as is. Let's see how this works. These are kind of weird, though. Oh, you see? Sticky. I don't know if I'm going to care for these. I feel like I'm going to end up having to use tweezers. <laughs> okay, let me stop playing. This is um, the Elephar Princess Volume Mascara. So this is what that looks like. It's supposed to be waterproof. That's about it. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. Or not. That's cool too. Okay. See, that doesn't help. 
Alright, so this is what it looks like. This is actually a really cute container. Maybe it'll just be... Ooh, that is a lot of product at the tip there. So this is what the wand looks like. That looks thick too. We shall see. Next product I have here is some eyeliner. This is the Velvet Eyeliner and this is very black. I'm not sure if this is a brush tip. I'm not sure if this is uh, what this is, but this is what it looks, oh my gosh. This is what it looks like. So let's open it and find out. See, that was way easier. There's a little tab up here, but I didn't know that for the mascara, and it was too late when I found it, so. All right. Oh, this is actually gray. The little container's gray. I thought it was black. Huh. Let's find out. Oh, no. That looks iffy. This looks a little strange. It doesn't look, I mean, it looks black, but it looks streaky. And this does not look very black. I don't know exactly what very black is to this company, but that looks gray and it's shiny. I don't know if you can, there it goes. Do you see that? Let's see how this dries down. I'm going to leave this on here for just a second and we'll see how this dries down. But it has like a silver reflect. Huh. I may not use this applicator because this applicator is hard. I may, I may try to use it and then I might try something else so we'll see all right so this next one is blush ain't it cute and it's in the shade orange <laughs> so um, there's no it just says multi cheek so there's no like name I guess for this one it just says multi cheek and it says professional makeup artist because I am sure that they buy $1 blushes. Although I do really like peachy blush. Ooh. That is actually very silky. Let's see how it swatches. Huh. I'm not mad at it right now. I am not mad at it. Okay, this blush seems promising. I mean, not this little applicator, but this brush seems promising. This blush seems promising. This next one I have is called the Silk Touch Foundation. It's a powder. This, I was not 100% sure. The powders were a little bit different. There wasn't very many shade ranges, but this seemed to be the lightest one they had. So I'm not sure if it's going to fit my skin tone, but we will see. This looks shiny. This has glitter in it. This also has that same feel that the blush has. Alright, so I also got this primer, I'm assuming. It's a smooth face. Um, let me see. Everything is in Japanese on the back, but it says smooth base, so I'm going to assume it is either a primer or a moisturizer. Alright. And then we have two more. I'll go over this one first. This is a liquid foundation. I'm not sure. Um, this one is by Ever Bellina. Bellina? 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 I don't know. Alright, so the very last product that I have, and like I said, there are some products I could not find, so there's no highlighter, there's no... There was concealer, and I thought that I had grabbed it, but I guess I didn't. And I think, if I'm not wrong, the reason that is, is because there was um, none in my color. But there was concealer there. This is a little lip gloss that they have. This is in the shade Orange Beige. Let's swatch this. <clears throat> 
Oh, this is sheer. This is a legitimate, a legitimate gloss. It's very sheer, very nudie color, so. All right, so before I wipe this eyeliner off, oh, it is dried down. It is not matte. It is not coming off, though. I see you. Huh. Okay. It is still reflecting that gray, though. So this is just one of those different eyeliners. But it is not budging. All right, well, without further ado, I have swatched, I have showed you, I have opened everything. I am going to go ahead and go wet this, and we'll see the difference, and I will be right back. Okay, so first things first, wetting it did absolutely nothing. It is the same size, the same density, it's still very hard. So I'm assuming you didn't have to wet it or weren't supposed to, and actually if you see... Like, when I squeeze up water, it, like, pops through the little holes. So, yeah. I'm not too excited about this little sponge. It might be a little bit softer, actually. But, not by much. That is hard. No size difference, I don't think. Actually, let's test it. No size difference. I'm just going to grab another brush and I'm just going to do a winged eyeliner and then mascara and then the rest of my face. This video is going to be pretty short because there is not, not a lot of products here. Alright, so I don't have very many eyeliner uh, brushes apparently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this little line, like this little like, <clears throat> I guess pencil brush. That does not look promising. This thing looks like it needs to be thrown away. We're going to try it anyway. Part of me feels like I should be setting, like, this just kind of feels wrong. Like, I feel like I should be setting my eyes. This is not coming off. Okay. I may have to actually try the applicator. The way this dries, I feel like I need to kind of hurry this up. So let's see how this goes. So that is what I have so far. I'm not going to call that a masterpiece in any way, shape, or form. So what I'm going to do really quick for the sake of the video, I'm going to try this applicator and let's see how this works. <laughs> this wing looks crazy. Okay, this wing looks a little shitty. The one thing is though, is the more I try to like fill it in, it kind of wipes it away. So, not quite impressed. And another thing too is when it dries, it almost like, it almost like peels off. So trying to clean it is a task also. But it's on there. I really feel like I need to fix this. However, I don't think there's a way to fix it, so just going to set that down and move on to the next one. Next, I'm going to use the mascara, and we're going to see how that works. There was no eyebrow thing either. Look at that product at the end of that. That is all, all mascara. That's insane. That is thick, too. That's like smoothie thick. All right, let's <clears throat> see how this works. If that tells you anything, I just smacked my eye with this mascara and nothing. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. Pretty sure after this video, I'm taking all of this off. Definitely put something on my lashes. I just don't know. It feels sticky. Like, even putting, even the wand... It like almost sticks to my lashes. So the eyes are as done as they are going to be because I don't have anything else. So we're going to move on to the face now. I wonder if you guys can hear that. 
It just literally sounds like I'm punching myself. All right, so it's got this little squirting bottle. All right, so that is what it looks like. <laughs> this is going to be good. All right, so I'm just going to squirt. Oh, this smells terrible. Oh, okay. This smells, this smells terrible. It smells like chemicals. This smells like rubber. <laughs> that explains so much right now. Is this supposed to be like a knockoff brand of that silicone sponge? Can you even see it? Like, I'm pretty sure it is not going on my skin. Maybe it is. At this point, no one knows. This is almost painful at this point. Ow! Damn, maybe that's karma. Do you see a difference? Is there anything like happening? Like where it started to apply, it looks almost orange. I also want to make the disclaimer. I'm not saying Japanese makeup is bad. This is dollar store Japanese makeup, okay? There's a difference. However, this dollar store is not working. I don't even know why I keep beating myself with this. There's nothing there anymore. I guess I'm just thinking, like, it's the same. I gotta blend it all out. Well, it's blended all right. It's not even there. I don't see anything. I see glitter. I'm not sure why. But there's glitter on my face. That may or may not be from the eyeliner, though. Do you see this eyeliner? Do you see this mascara? All right. Damn it. You know what I forgot? There's primer. I'm sure this would totally make a difference, though. This feels like lotion. Smells like nothing. Oh, it feels nice though. I mean, should I even even make a point to try and take it off to put this on? Because I'm pretty sure nothing's there. So let's just yeah, this just feels like lotion. So this is like dollar lotion. That is kind of questionable right now, though. I'm not putting any more of this on my face. All right, so, so far, nothing's a win. All right, so let's go ahead and set our faces. Not sure why I need powder to set something that's not there. I'm not sure if that's a line. It looks like a line. Why is there a line on my face like that? Do I sleep weird? Is there something on my face? This whole video is just a hot mess right now. Okay, you know what? We're done with that. Okay, that's done. Alright. I personally don't think the powder is going to be that bad. It just so happens to be on some shitty stuff. So I actually will probably try this again. Maybe. Who knows? And I'm kind of curious about this blush. So let's go ahead. Oh Jesus. Let's go ahead and try that. I don't even think you guys can see it, but it's there. 
I mean, normally I go off of how much blush to put on because I can't see the redness in my face. But right now I have redness everywhere because there's no coverage on my face. So, not sure when to stop anymore. The blush might be a hit. I can't speak on it right now, though, because all I see is red. But I see it, and it looks like it blends out pretty well, at least on one side of my face. We're going to try that one again, too. The blush and the, the powder is going to be tried again. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot lashes. Plastic ass lashes. Let's try this. So again, I don't have any glue from there, so I'm just going to use the kind that I normally do. I'm going to try this little clippy, but just to be safe, I did bring my trusty little applicator thing here. You know, they usually tell you to uh, cut your lashes and all of that. Yeah, we're not, we're not doing all of that right now. I don't really see a point, if I'm going to be completely honest. I think... I think if I actually cut these... They're not going to be that bad. Lashes are on. This one looks like I just maybe applied it wrong because this one looks nicer. I'm still not impressed. But you can definitely see the difference between this lash and this lash. Honestly, I think this clip is kind of trash. Because this one looks pretty volumized. Nice. It looks pretty... Pretty. Er. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of the, this whole look in general. But <laughs> it's a video for a reason. So, very last and not certainly not least, let's try this lip gloss. If I was going for a natural look and I didn't want really anything on my lips except maybe a lip gloss, I would not be mad at this. But the rest of my face is questionable. Very questionable. Alright guys, so that's the end of the video. This is the final look. It's <laughs> terrible. Alright, so if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share down at the bottom. Um, I am going to run and uh, go ahead and start taking all of this off. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video.